Good morning, YouTube. It is 6.24 a.m. and today is Friday and I am getting ready to go out on a run. I just took one scoop of pre-workout. Still using the Beachbody Energize. Let's go. Okay, but please share with me in the, play in the comments what uh, music y'all like to listen to when you're working out because I have to listen to my ratchet playlist. I just have to. <laughs> If you guys want, I can link this down below too. It's just the feeling myself playlist on Spotify. <laughs> this is my fave. freaking sweaty and tired i did two miles in 26 minutes around the neighborhood um it's still it's still pitch black outside but um i'm home now it's 6 58 um i'm going to show you guys how i kill my water first so i haven't eaten anything i do my cardio i'd say that it's fasted but i did have my pre-workout so i'll leave it up to y'all if you think that that was considered fasted or not but to me pre-workout is only like or no, probably like 20 calories. It's still considered fasted in my book, so. I have to have ice in my water. A lot of ice. And then my goal is to do a gallon a day right now. I don't know when I'll stop that. Probably won't because I need the hydration. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am going to put a little bit of lemon water in and a little bit of this light salt. What this does basically is it helps to restore the electrolytes because I am drinking so much water. Like it's not really recommended to drink a gallon of water a day for normal people, but because I'm training so hard right now, and I'll talk with you guys a little bit about that later, um, but because I am training so hard, I want to restore the electrolytes that I'm losing because I have a tendency to get night cramps like in my legs, like I get really bad Charlie horses, foot cramps and things like that. So this particular light salt, it's got potassium chloride in it, which is really good. You can also take magnesium supplements, which I do take after I eat. Um, and then your vitamin B12, you know, all the things. Um, but I have a really hard time with that. So I just found that this works for me. So I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of lemon water. I like lemon water. Uh, I think it tastes good. So I pour in kind of a lot. And then I'm just gonna do like a little, you know, boop, boop, that's it. That's all you need and I'm gonna mix this up and this is gonna be the first thing that I drink this is 30 ounces of water and I'm just gonna kill this now I'm gonna go shower and I'll come back whenever I eat Hey guys, good morning. So it is 9.45 right now. It's super late, but I had like a crazy experience with TJ. He had like a really bad blowout this morning, which he's never had, but that took me by surprise. Normally I would have liked to have already eaten by now, but I'm going to make some oats. Um, and I created this recipe in my fitness pal. It's just gonna be one cup of oats, one cup of this silk unsweetened vanilla almond milk, one cup of water. And then I like to add in um, this Walden Farms pancake syrup, about two tablespoons of this, just to sweeten it up. It's calorie free. There's like nothing in this. So yeah, I love this stuff. It gives a good sweetener. So. I'm also gonna add in a cup of water to this. Um, so it's one cup of oats, one cup of the milk of your choice, and then one cup of water, and I'm gonna bring that to a boil. Okay, so I did just wanna to talk to you guys really quickly about what's changing in my fitness and health regime and in my diet. I know typically on this channel, I have been a low-carb keto dieter. That's kind of been my lifestyle for the last 
I'd say like two years on and off like I've I've tried to stick to keto um, but for me I'm taking a different approach because my goal right now obviously you guys have seen I've lost like a massive amount of weight and I'm happy with my weight loss but now I really want to recomposition my body and I feel like in order to do that I need to get back into the gym I need to be lifting weights so I did hire a personal trainer I'm actually going to meet with him tonight I met with him on Wednesday night I'm super sore because I've only been doing at-home workouts which are great don't get me wrong they're awesome but for me I I need to be lifting heavy like I need to just get back into that because I really want to tone my body lose this last little bit of fat and really um, build lean muscle so that's my goal right now so what I'm doing differently is I am tracking everything that I'm eating in my fitness pal right now I did come up with a um, diet plan for myself or a calorie goal it's a uh, two th um, I'm eating roughly 2150 calories a day Oop, my oatmeal's boiling sorry want to make sure you keep an eye on this as it cooks and then I'm just gonna turn the heat to low and kind of let it do its thing for a little bit here while it's thickening up um, anyway so yeah I am doing 2148 calories a day but my goals have changed dramatically so dramatically dramatically um, so actually I want to increase my carbohydrates lower my fats a little bit and do like more of a moderate protein um, and again I'm looking to work with a nutritionist dietitian um, so this is just kind of something that I've come up with based on like research that I've done and YouTube videos that I've watched and other people I'm just trying to like experiment and see what's gonna work with my body so I'm gonna give myself this way of eating for the next few weeks see what happens as I'm working with my personal trainer and getting back into the gym hopefully the gyms open up soon fingers crossed because I really want to get my membership back um, cuz 2021 I'm coming for you I am not playing any games guys like I'm on next level like I'm really trying to test my mental um, strength and just willpower and just really go all in because my fitness goals are something that I feel like I've dibble dabbled in here and there and then I've fallen off and with keto it's so strict for me that I have a very hard time staying consistent on it I just I love carbs and it's just extremely extremely hard for me and I found that when I get off keto I get off keto and I go hard which is just not sustainable for me so I'm gonna take a break and definitely I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with keto or that I won't go back to it in the future because obviously I've had massive results with losing a ton of um, fat and weight but I'm just in a different stage in life right now so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do Stick around for a while because I'm going to be doing a series here on my channel starting in January. I'm going to take you guys with me through um, my like preparations because I'm really giving myself six months to see changes in my body before I look at other alternatives on how to correct the things that are going on with my body. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm super pumped about this. I just feel like a ton of motivation. I have been doing cardio every day um, and incorporating those weights uh, for workouts in the evening. So you know i'm just really trying to find a plan that works for me and stick with it so let's have breakfast okay so this is pretty good so i'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off and take it off and then i'm going to add in my walden farm syrup now oh yeah this is going to make it nice and sweet i'm just going to fold that all in guys how cool i think there was two yolks in my egg that looks like two separate yolks, right? Am I tripping? Or am I tripping? It looks like two yolks. Okay, so here's my eggs and my oatmeal, and I'm just gonna top it with one tablespoon of this um, pico de gallo. I just got this at the deli in my local grocery store here, and this is gonna be my breakfast, guys. All right, guys, I am making some lunch right now. It's 12.30, it's a little late. Um, I like to eat a little bit earlier than this, but oh well. Um, I got a late start to the day again, so. I am going to make these in my air fryer. I have the Ninja Foodie. I just got it. If you are not following me over on Instagram, you should totally should because every day I'm sharing different air fryer recipes over there. 
as I am getting used to this Ninja Foodie. I will have it linked down below. You guys, this thing is the best. Shameless plug, totally not sponsored. This is a nine in one cook. The thing that I love about this most is I can pressure cook in here. I can also um, do like the slow cook, like a crock pot. So it's like a pressure cooker, like the instant pot. It's a crock pot. I can steam, I can air fry in here. So it's an air crisper. I can bake, I can broil, and I can saute, and I can dehydrate if I wanted to make like, um, what is it? If I wanted to make like a beef jerky or like dried fruit slices or something like that, I could make that in this Ninja Foodie. This thing is legit and worth every single penny. I swear to you, I've used it every single day. So anyways, I've just got um, my sweet potato fries coated in um, some olive oil and then I used paprika, Himalayan pink salt, some Mrs. Dash, the original, and some onion powder. You can just season them however you like. This is just what I like. And I'm gonna put them into the air fryer here and I'm just gonna crisp them for about I don't know 12 minutes or something they shouldn't take too long boom and then I'm gonna have some chicken wings and a salad for lunch because that sounds real good all right Okay, so I got three ounces of chicken wings here. I just weighed it out. It just so happens to be three. And I'm going to put a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Sauce on here. This is just the Frank's Buffalo Sauce. Um, one tablespoon of this is... Come on, focus. 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 It wants to focus down there so bad. Okay. All right, so one tablespoon of this stuff is zero calories. It's just sodium, really, in this that you have to worry about, um, which I'm not worried about right now. So I am going to um, put a tablespoon of that in here and mix this up, and then I'm going to reheat these in the air fryer, too. My fries have been in for about 10 minutes. They look really good so far. I'm telling you guys, this thing is awesome. I'm obsessed. Best investment ever. Best birthday gift ever. Thanks, husband. And yeah. All right, so here is my lunch. I'm just gonna do some sugar-free ketchup. Um, and I've got green salad, a tablespoon of the Hidden Valley Ranch, nothing special. And my Wings look so good, all baked in their air fried goodness with that sauce and. Okay, so it's two o'clock right now and I kind of feel like I want something sweet but I also feel like I want some coffee because I haven't had coffee. The lights have been flashing in this place like all day. I think we're gonna lose power and I'm really nervous about it but we got a generator so we're good to go. Um, but anyways, I have this really weird idea that I'm going to make a protein smoothie, but a protein coffee smoothie. Hear me out, I know it sounds crazy, but I think it might turn out really good. So, I don't know, let's just, let's just try it. Okay, so this is the protein powder I'm gonna use. This is ISO Pure, it's vanilla salted caramel, which I thought would be really good. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of this Skippy Natural peanut butter, some hemp hearts, some maca powder. I've got my coffee brewed over there and then I'm gonna also add a little bit of almond milk and I've just got a base of ice. All right guys, so we are at dinner tonight. So I've got um, half a cup of jasmine rice. I just used the Ben's Ready Rice. And I've got two ounces of protein. The timer now is five o'clock. I'm getting ready to go and meet with my trainer in about an hour and a half, so I'm having a full on meal. And then the secret sauce, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but I'm gonna um, put some peanut butter on this. It's gonna be, I don't know, I heard it's really good. I was watching some YouTube videos and I saw someone doing this, so I'm gonna take a tablespoon or something, thin it out with some water and then add that on the top and mix it all together. And then I'm having some asparagus that I just have in the air fryer right now going. And that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. 
Oh, 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 oh my God, I cannot feel my legs. Okay, moment of truth. I'm sorry that you guys are at like a really weird ankle. It's just, I don't have my tripod right now, so my apologies, but I just wanted to do a taste test of this on camera and let you guys know what I thought. It kind of looks like really bland nothingness, but it smells good. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, I'm eating my hair. Mmm. Guys, that's good. Okay, not what I was expecting at all. Really good. Okay. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. So, I've just got my asparagus here and my chicken and rice. I'm gonna eat this. My husband should be home in like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna get dressed and ready to go. I've got dinner on the stove for them. And I don't know if my trainer will let me film anything tonight just because I think he's being a little strict right now just with like COVID and everything. He has like an outdoor gym. Um, but you know, everybody's just being really careful right now. So I'll ask him if I can get any footage of me working out tonight. But we'll see. If not, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, okay, this is like really crappy lighting, so forgive me, but um, I just got out of my training session. Um, we did upper body today, and I did not film anything. I don't know, I was like really in the zone today, and like I was having like just good conversations with my coach, and I was really like trying to zone in. Plus, I feel like upper body days are like not that exciting for me, because I'm still like lifting super light and like just like little dumbbells and stuff like that and I'm like trying to get my basics and like get my form down um but that's my last time meeting my trainer for the year actually so the date today is the hold on I'm ending my workout Ooh, that was a bomb workout oh my gosh I I just burned 439 calories in an hour and 12 minutes um but yeah, the date today is December 18th, 2020. Um, the next two weeks, so like next week is Christmas, and then the week after that is New Year's. And my son is actually gonna be here, so I'm not training with him, but I'm still gonna be doing my at-home workouts. I'm still gonna be running every day, you guys know. I just spilled my protein shake all over me. Um, but I just took another scoop of the IsoPure, the vanilla salted caramel. Um, and I am just gonna drink that as like a post recovery drink and then I'll probably, I have like a ton of calories to spare so I'll probably eat something really calorically dense when I get home um, after I shower and stuff. It's already eight o'clock but oh well, for the sake of gains I can eat. I'll check in with you guys when I get home. All right guys, so I just got home from my workout and I just pulled some of this salmon out of the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some of this in my air fryer. I'll show you guys how I do that. It's 9.30 right now, so it is super late, but I have so many calories left that I need to eat and I'm actually starving right now. So in my opinion, it's worth it. But again, I'm testing out this diet, so we'll see how these changes like work for me. Um, I work out really late right now with my trainer because that's just the only time I can get in. So let's do this. Okay, so literally what I did, I rubbed my fingers across to find the bones and I pulled those out because I don't want them when I put them in the air fryer. I did a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, and then of course my Old Bay. This is literally just my favorite seasoning for any type of fish. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into the air fryer. the organs so we're gonna cook air crisp at 390 and I'm gonna set my timer down to five minutes that was the recommended time on a website I found so I'm gonna start with that and see what it's looking like when it's done all right, so that's what it's looking like after five minutes. I'm gonna break into it because I kind of am curious to see how well it is. That's actually pretty good. I'm surprised by that. 
I don't know, that part was looking like it wasn't that done. So I think I'm gonna keep this thicker filet in for like maybe one more minute, but I'm gonna take these two little ones. These are two and a half ounces. I'm gonna take these ones out. All right, guys, so there's that salmon. It is nice and beautiful. And um, I just have another salad here with some more ranch. And yep, this is what I'm gonna eat. These sweet potatoes are so nice and sweet. I love these. Like I literally did not put anything on them. They're delicious though, just nice and sweet the way I like them. Okay, so it's always my goal to get a gallon of water in, but this is how much I've got. It's 10 o'clock right now. I don't know how much I will finish by the end of the night before I go to bed, but. All right guys, I'm going to go ahead and include some before pictures. This is just some pictures that my husband took of me. Um, and this is basically my starting point. Um, so I'm hoping to do like weekly updated photos. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss these videos. I. I say this all the time, but I am going to get more consistent with them. I just am trying to formulate like a meal plan that works for me um, and get like everything down packed. It does kind of hinder things, the fact that it's like the holidays right now, so times are crazy. But thanks so much for watching this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.